And then for the finals, we will move on to one grand finale table. Sorry, I'm just... Uh, <laughs> All right, enjoy. I'll be back in a minute. Lovely shot. Good. There's a broken ball. There's a ball in there. There's a gent. There's a left. In the rules. Is it now discretionary? In practice, in practice, I have found that it's discretionary. It's, uh, it's down to you guys. Go, come on, Ali. Up to you, Benji. Not everyone enforces it. Well. Maybe that should be a post. Hey guys, any ideas on that? So, when the balls initially were reproduced, that's down to you guys as to what you wish to do. So, as mentioned very quickly, ball broke mid rally. Now, right at the beginning, the balls used to break all the time when they switched from celluloid to plastic. And should this continue to be enforced in terms of the ball? snapping mid-air or when you know the ball is definitely not going to go on the table should the point be granted to the opposing player what's your thoughts let me know At this present time, I believe most of the matches are going according to seedings. Wow. Lovely shot. Jakob down on the bottom is 2-0 down. I'm not sure exactly what the score is between Benji and Max. It could be 1-0 or 2-0 to Max. And with Wasif and Sami, I believe currently Sami is leading 1-0 or 2-0. Now you have to ask yourself, when you're playing 
in a quarter final, quarter final position. You know, deep down, that you could become champion, champion of any tournament when you're at the quarterfinal stages. All you need is three best of fives that go your way and you win. The question is, how do you find that form? Well, firstly, I think it's important that you congratulate yourself for getting to that stage. It's so important for players to learn to credit themselves rather than constantly critique themselves. Of course, you have to critique yourself to a degree to allow you to grow and develop and assess and evaluate. But ultimately, when you're reaching, reaching such stages in any event, you have to also reflect upon that in a positive manner. So, a few things that most top players do when they reach these type of stages, when they know it's, it's getting close now to potentially winning an event, they stay humble in terms of maintaining a direct focus on the match at hand. We can get carried away. We can get carried away by thinking, well, I'm in the quarterfinal, I can get to the semis if I beat this guy, and if I beat that guy, then I get to the final. Yes, but you haven't gotten there, so it's important to stay composed and focused on the task at hand. Which, as you can see at the moment, there's a lot of focus from each player, showing, picking the right shots to try and make sure that they give themselves the best opportunity to come through this and get into the semi-final. Oh, lovely shot again. Give you, oh, Sammy K. Give you guys a bit of brief backgrounds on each player. Sammy K has just come through into the semi-final. A 3-0 victory over Wasif. Wasif is uh, originally from Oh, I forget the original country. Uh, let me try and remember. Wasif, remind me your original country, please. Bangladesh, thank you. Originally from Bangladesh. Currently studying at university here in England. 3 0 to Guy. Guy is also qualified into the semi final against Lin, who's originally from China. And down on the. That's 3 0 to Max, who's also through to the semi final. And I think it's commonly all going according to the seedings. Oppa! Comment score 2 1. Commonly 2 1 to Aggie. After this game, I'll quickly come off and prepare for the semi finals. Enjoy. I'm just going to quickly vacate, <laughs> have a little quick break myself, and then I'll see you all in a few minutes once this match is finished. Imagine they win it. Oh, we'll let him go. We'll let him go as well. 
Left, left, left. Do you want to move up or do you want to stay? Yeah, you are. Well, this has become actually quite fascinating because normally Jacob loses to Aggie quite comfortably 3 0. But right now he's at 2 2 with him. And. He's uh, firing on all cylinders. I'm gonna try and make it a little bit more focused for you guys. No! Oh gosh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Admit, I am shocked to see this current score, but I have seen Aggie lose to certain players where you would think the odds would be in his favour, but 
That's table tennis, you know, sometimes it's either styles, it's confidence, it's preparation. There's many, many factors at play. Current score, I believe, is 5 4 to Aggie. 4 5. So I'll give you a bit of background on both players. Jacob uh, started playing, I think he was about 13 years old, uh, locally here, uh, in a few clubs in around the area. Then he went off to study for a little while to, in another country and uh, came back about six months to a year ago. Where he's really started to train again and get, get his improve his level and confidence on the table. Aggie originally is from India. Plays in the north in the Harren Wembley League. He's very well known for his control, blocking, tactical game. He's had some wonderful results and some peculiar results, I think would be the right words. Uh, over the past couple of seasons, he's beaten players up to about 25, 20 in England men. And he's also lost to players who are around 200, I think. That was big. when there's tension, both players often overthink things. And try to do more than they did previously to win the points that they had won. Hoppa, what a rally! back to do the talking which is wonderful to see great footwork there another wonderful rally three terrific rallies in a row Every single rally is just fantastic at the moment. Aggie just controlling the ball on the table, using the angles. Yakov moving left and right as quick as he can. And that is the end. 11, 